Hello, inventors. My name is John D. Rockefeller, founder of the Standard Oil Company, an American industrialist and philanthropist to all. I am known as the wealthiest man of the Gilded Age, worth about $400 billion. The Standard Oil Company I own has monopolized the production of oil throughout the United States. Originally, I got into the oil industry when I invested in a Cleveland refinery in 1863. I then climbed the ladder and established Standard Oil in 1870. About 15 years after that, my company controlled about 90% of the U.S. refineries and pipelines. With these high amounts of earnings, I found a way to use my money wisely over my lifetime. I've donated many of my earnings to charities and launched new biomedical research studies for vaccines. Concerning education, I established at the University of Chicago and the Rockefeller Institute for Medical Research. Donating over $500 million in donations, I've helped to create opportunities in the educational, religious, and scientific causes for our day and age. So my first question for you, inventors, is... What is the purpose of selling your invention, and what do you plan to do with the money you receive from me? Luckily, my goal is to help those of all classes, whether rich or poor. Unlike others I know, many members of the highest classes believe in this idea of social Darwinism, or the theory that human groups are, and races are subject to the same laws of natural selection as Charles Darwin perceived in plants and animals in nature. When applying the idea of social Darwinism to the inventions I choose, I want an inventor who is willing to help those in all classes and abolish this nonsense of a theory. As we will be working together, we must prove that the Gilded Age can serve as a benefit to all. Instead of social Darwinism, we must believe in the ideals of the Gospel of Wealth, written by Andrew Carnegie. In this novel, Carnegie speaks of the idea that the wealth, that the wealthy have a moral to help those that were less fortunate. I plan to use your inventions to gain capital in my business and help others with philanthropic deeds like the gospel of what pushes for. As I got more successful throughout my life, many competitors in the oil industry and other wealthy industries saw me as a robber baron, while citizens saw who benefited from my good deeds saw me as a captain of industry. A robber baron is someone who uses ruthless and unscrupulous business tactics to gain wealth, while a captain of industry is a successful businessman who usually gives back to the community. My second question is, despite my reputation, are you willing to see this collaboration through? Between you 14 inventors, there are two products that I believe that will help, will help my company strive even higher and will help the inventors in reaching desirable profits, the telephone and barbed wire fence. The telephone helps faster communication between humans, allowing for a greater efficiency rate in the extraction and selling crude oil. A question that I have for Alexander Graham Bell is that will the production of telephones be passed throughout the world economy? This will help my company expand even greater and still allow the better sense of communication between standard oil facilities. As for barbed wire, it could be used to surround my oil extrapolation sites and serve as a safety measure for others in the nearby area. This would help clear many problems with the dangers of oil extrapolation to outside people. A question that I have is how sustainable is barbed wire and how long does it last before needing to be replaced? If I was an inventor, my sales pitch would invo involve speaking of the benefits of having the product and why it is a necessity at my company. Also, bringing the product to the convention would help one understand the invention to a further degree. Thank you.